Phoenix Light installation and activation. Downloading and unzipping. Once you've received the download link from the email, you need to double check what kind of version of Windows that you have. To do this, you're going to go to your start menu on Windows 7, and then you're going to go ahead and go up here to computer and right click, and then click properties. Now this is going to tell you what version you have. So we have system type 64-bit operating system. If you had 32-bit, it would say 32-bit. So go ahead and close that window. Now we're going to go ahead and select the installer for 64-bit and go ahead and download that. Once you've downloaded the Phoenix software, go to the zip file and you're going to have to unzip it. This means extracting the software. So you can either go here and right click it and select extract all or you can click open which will open the zip file. Then you're just going to have to click and drag this over here like that and that'll extract the actual file from it. Installation. Once you've downloaded the Phoenix SQL Lite software, go ahead and open up the folder and then keep going until you reach the setup. Once you see the setup, you can right click it and select run as administrator. On this window, we'll just press the next button. Here we'll go over the licensing agreement, press accept and then press next. Here is where you can put your customer information in if you would like, then press the next button. Here is where you select which SQL database you want to point to. Then you'll go ahead and put your username and password in. For the Express Edition that's installed with the software, the default password is O. PW, and that will be capital, lowercase fms, pound sign, 6900, and then here just put the name of your database. And then we'll press the next button. Here you can either select complete or custom. Custom lets you pick which location on the computer you would like to install the software. Then press next. And then we can go ahead and press install. Activation. So first of all, we're going to launch the application by clicking on a shortcut. And because it installs it as a demo, you have to basically go ahead and activate the license. So you would answer yes that you'd want to activate it. And it'll come up with a activate serial number screen. If you have access to the internet, you would do online uh, license activation. If you do not, then you would select the offline activation. So we're going to select the online activation. And you would key in your serial number of your software and then you would click the search selection and what that does is goes out to the OPW license server to validate that it's a valid license that's been purchased and now you can to fill out your information about your software product. You would key in your last name, first name, And if you have the uh, company name, this is the name that's going to show up on your reports. And you can provide an email. And then basically, you can activate your license. And I'll tell you what's required. So we'll do uh, Rick.
Now your license has been activated. So if you click OK, you can go ahead and close this screen down.